evening everyone how are you doing how has been your week are you guys okay we thank god for yet another day another saturday to cook <laughs> thank god today i'm going to be cooking a goosey soup and stay tuned with me give me a thumbs up like subscribe share turn off the notification bell the lord bless you in jesus name today we are going to be cooking a goosey soup Egusi, Egusi. Egusi is called melon, melon seed. Melon seed. Uh, so we're going to be cooking Egusi. So we have here our dry fish. Egusi. Cow food. Scotch bonnet pepper, bell pepper, onions and ginger blended and boiled if the video is on the uh, on my site on my channel please you can watch it thank you cow and um, goat meat and stripe bitter leaf dried Scoobwell fish roasted, dry periwinkle, stockfish, prom, dry prom, dry snail, two onions, large, and four um, bell pepper. Three spoon of palm oil. Okay, we have locust bean, uh, curfish, then salt and seasonings. So the first thing that we are going to do is to get our goat meat and stripe into your pot. Get it on. Then the next thing you are going to put in your seasonings. Your salt. Get your onions in, chopped. In your bell pepper, one of it depends on how you can color it. So I'm going to allow it to simmer for a while. I'm putting in my spices, that is my curry, my thyme, my garlic. So I'm going to allow it to simmer for a while. I've, I've not put water yet in. I want the water to come out itself, so I'll get it covered and allow it to boil for a minute, then I had in my water. So I'm going to pour some in water. It has already produced its stock, so I'm going to add in more water for it to boil very well. So now I'm going to my stock finish my um I'm going to my the stock fish, the snail, the periwinkles, and the bitter leaf, they are all dry, so I need to preserve them. So what I'm going to do is add in some salt generously on it, and I'm um, 
and I'm going to pour in hot water boiled water and allow it to soak I'm going to allow it to soak in and if there is any bacteria in it the salt and the hot water will get rid of it so after that I'm going to uh, rinse them again okay after 30 minutes my meat is well boiled so I'm going to remove it from the pot, I'm putting up my fire. So I'm going to put aside the stock because I need my stock. So putting aside my stock. So I'm going to put a little uh, three scotch bonnet pepper. So you put pepper to what you can tolerate and onions I'm going to be starting with this so I'll blend them up so I'm now going to put it in my melon seed. Because I want it wet. So I'm going to pour it in. I'm adding some water because I want it to be in a paste. I don't want it to be watery and I don't want it to be dry. So I need a paste. So my melon seed is not going to be watery and it's not going to be dry. So now back to my pot. My pot is ready. I'm going to allow it to heat up so that there won't be water. So I'm going to pour in my palm oil in my pot. So I'm going to get leave it and allow it to get hot. I don't want to bleach it. I just want it to get very hot. So 
so it's hot enough i'm going to put in my melon seeds bit by bit i'm not going to pour them at once That's why I'm using a very big pot so that they won't get thick. to dry it for a minute. So um the first phase is already done after three minutes. I'm going to move them to the side and add the rest. There, is, there are a thousand and one ways of cooking negoshi soup. This is the method I grew up with, and this is what my mom always do. Allow it to dry. And honestly speaking, it's not burnt. It won't get burnt. It will roast very well. And you see how it it is. It will be one one lumps. It will not be scattered all in. Just need to be turning it so that it won't get stick to the pot. If your hands get off it, it might get stick to your pot and it's So have a look at it. So the next thing I'm going to be adding now is my bell pepper, bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, uh, onions, ginger. That is what I'm going to be adding now. Adding the water that I rinse off my plate, nothing go waste. <coughs> so I'm going to allow it to cook. I'll be adding my meat stock. it for the next five minutes so 
for 10 minutes. I will look at it. So I need, I need, we need to put in our, all our dry ingredients that we soaked so that they can cook with it. So my periwinkle is going in. I'm putting in my bitter leaf because it still needs to be cooked. It's washed carefully and um, you see when you watch washing it there are some sand in so you need to wash it carefully so that you'll be able to get them off my stock fish is going in my locust bean is going in too Form is also going in. The snail is also going in. some curl fish so I'm going to add in some water and leave it till the water Evaporate. So I'll cover it up and leave it for the next 15 minutes. So after 10 minutes, this is how it looks like. So I'm going to be having my protein. I'm having my goat meat and the stripe. I'm going to add in my fish, the dry fish. So I'm going to be testing for salt. I'm just going to add a bit of salt more. I'm not going to add seasoning. Just adding a bit of salt. Just a pinch more. I can feel the bitter leaf in and feel all my spices. I'm 
going to add in a little more water and cover it up for the next 10 minutes. how it looks like. Everything is well incorporated in. Well, the corporate is very deep. The oil is thank you for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, turn off your notification bell. Thank you so much. Thank you.